The Catholic Diocese of Pittsburgh is facing a new sexual abuse lawsuit. But this time it is a lay person, not a member of the clergy at the center of the case. Ralph Iannotti is here tonight with the details. New at 6, Ralph. Thanks very much, Susan. It's not only the Pittsburgh Diocese named in this lawsuit, it's a Catholic school in the South Hills and a former male teacher. The lawsuit claims the sexual abuse involved a former male student here at the St. Bernard School in Mount Lebanon. It alleges that the student, now an adult, was molested by a male teacher at least five times when he was a minor. The unnamed teacher was employed by the school, which is owned and managed by the Pittsburgh Catholic Diocese. He sought some extra help from a teacher uh, for math and hours. While getting the extra help, he was repeatedly molested, uh, raped, was required to perform certain acts on this individual. According to attorney Pierce, the man has suffered both physically and emotionally from his encounters with the teacher. Pierce said he tried to forget about it. These were too painful to relive. It was years after the incidents when he finally told his parents about the abuse. Our client is struggling. Uh, he suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, he has gotten, again, psychological help. He continues to battle uh, with a drug and alcohol addiction and has gotten some treatment for that. A number of Pennsylvania Catholic dioceses, including Pittsburgh, have set up a special fund to handle claims involving sexual abuse of minors. However, the fund specifies it's only for claims against clergy. It states that lay teachers and employees of the diocese are not eligible to participate in the program. Is that fair? Rob Pierce says he doesn't think so. With this lawsuit, he is letting other victims know that why should only those abused by a priest be the one to go through the church program and the rest have to file a lawsuit and, again, make all their allegations public. Father Nick Vaskoff, a diocesan spokesman, said the diocese typically does not comment on litigation. And, in fact, he said they have not even seen this latest lawsuit. I'm Ralph Iannotti.